Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Friday Night Football Review for Round 21 of the NRL. We saw two games of football tonight. We saw the Raiders beat the Dragons 20 points to 12. And we saw the Rabbitohs absolutely smash the Eels 40 points to 12. Both games were played behind closed doors. No fans allowed in due to the virus. Both games were played at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. And... Yeah, look, the Raiders had a good win over the Dragons and the uh, Rabbitohs, they smashed the hell out of Parramatta, especially in that second half. Uh, you know, Parramatta, they showed me absolutely nothing tonight. I, I thought they were really, really poor, but let's get into the Friday Night Football Review. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment your thoughts on tonight's games in the comment section below. But let's go back to the first game, which was the Raiders beating the Dragons. 20 points to 12. Um, it all started off there in the ninth minute. Good start for the Dragons. Corey Norman sweeping around the back. Adam Clune to Corey Norman. A nice decoy there from Billy Burns. Norman gets a cutout ball to Matthew Figai. He goes over and scores in the corner for the Dragons. Lomax kicks the goal. Dragons 6 nil after 9 minutes. Good start for the Red V there. And then in the 17th minute, a penalty to the Dragons. Jordan Ralpin and need... Um, Blake Laurie in the head, which he had to go for HIA. He did pass his HIA and came back on the field after 15 minutes. But a penalty goal was successful there from Zach Lomax. Dragons 8-0 after 17 minutes gone. Great start for the Dragons in this one. And then in the 24th minute, uh, Elliot Whitehead with a grubber kick on the right-hand side. And Harley Smith Shields did very well to keep the ball in field there. And then uh, Jordan Rappiner scores for the Raiders. I'm surprised that... Elliot White had put the grabber kick in, actually, and Harley Smith-Shields kept the ball in field, which was very good of him. Good desperation there from Smith-Shields, and then Rappin ends up scoring the try for the Green Machine, and Jared Cogger kicks the goal. The Dragons still lead here at 8 points to 6, and then in the 33rd minute, Adam Clune with a nice dummy goes straight through. He finds Tarek Sims on the outside. He just beats Hudson Young, and Tarek Sims scores for the Dragons, and they go out to a 12-6 lead. Zach Lomax misses the goal. Dragons 12-6. And then in the 35th minute, uh, Sam Williams with a cross-field bomb to Jack White, who leaps above pretty much all the Dragons players there around the ball. And Jack White scores for the Raiders. And Crocker kicks the goal at halftime. It was 12-all. And I'm thinking to myself, what a great first half of 40. It's anyone's game. The Dragons led the majority of the first half. Well, they led the whole game. And then the Raiders scored before our time, which... I reckon hurt the Dragons a little bit. And then in the second half, the Dragons started started off really slow. Um, 44th minute, Tom Starling might run some dummy half. Um, I thought he was held up for a while there, but Jack Bird uh, wasn't able to hold him up. You could see the ball hit the white line, so it is a try to Tom Starling. And the Raiders with a very big try, and they take the lead for the first time of the game. Croker converts the goal. Raiders 18-12 after 44 minutes gone. 48th minute. Now, this was a pretty tough call against the Dragons, in my opinion. Josh Hodson shoulder charge to Jack Bird. Amrei Gula's shoulder hit the head of Jack Bird. Now, we've all seen this year, when someone's shoulder hits a player in the head, normally it's a sin bin. I'm very surprised that Amrei Gula did not go for 10 in the bin. I thought it was a very tough call against the Dragons, and... I believe Emre Gula should have went for 10 in the bin. Pretty tough call there against the Dragons. And then in the 62nd minute, uh, Sam Williams puts a kick in for Jack Whiten. He just touches the ball. Papali goes over for a try, but it's no try because Jack Whiten's uh, index finger just touched the ball. So no try there to Josh Papali. And then in the 70th minute, Zach Lomax with an accidental high tackle on Jack Whiten. Whiten fell into it, but he did cop him around the neck. So it was a penalty. Um, Jared Cogger kicks the penalty goal in the 70th minute. And then at full time, the Raiders have beaten the Dragons. 20 points to 12 up at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. The Dragons' first half was very promising, but the second half wasn't good at all. They looked very fatigued. They looked very lost out there. Obviously, without Ben Hunt, the Dragons were always going to be a little bit lost. And they really did miss out on Ben Hunt's leadership tonight. And, you know, McCulloch, he did a lot of um, things with Dummy Halfway. He went for a 40-20, but it was so predictable. Cameron knew what they were doing. You know, it was just 
The Dragons had to win the night, and I think now their final chances are pretty much gone. It's going to be very tough for them to make the eight. The Dragons got a tough run. They play Penrith next week. They play uh, Roosters the week after. And then they play the Cowboys. And then they finish off with South Sydney. Pretty pretty tough duel there for the Dragons. And I don't see them playing finals footy. Now, Canberra, they go into the top eight now on the live ladder. They go back into seventh spot for now until the Titans and Sharks play. But um, big win for the Raiders. And, you know, I thought it was a very gutsy effort from them. The first half was a bit scratchy. But the second half showed, showed some good signs. Keeping the Dragons to zero in the second half was a good thing for the Green Machine. But we'll talk about some of the great players tonight for the Canberra Raiders. Jordan Ruffin had a decent game at fullback. Not nothing great, you know. I don't think, you know, to, just because Jordan Ruffin runs for decent minutes at fullback doesn't mean he had a great game at fullback. You know, I don't think he gets involved enough. And, you know, I don't care about stats. I don't care about his meters. Ruffin is run meters, in my opinion. It had no impact on the game at fullback. So he was okay, but nothing spectacular, in my opinion. Um, I thought Jared Croker had an okay game, but he just doesn't get enough ball, Jared Croker. Matthew Tomoka looked okay when he had the ball, I reckon. Uh, Valame was good, I thought. And Jack White, and I was a bit critical watching the game of Jack, Jack White, but he, he ended up playing a lot better in the second half, so Jack White was all right. Sam Williams doesn't run the ball a lot, but his kicking game, I thought, was very good. Josh Papali was all right. Tarpany was good. Hodson was all right as well, I thought, in periods. Hudson Young had a good game as well. Ryan Sutton was solid. Uh, I thought Corey Harry and Naira was good as well for the Raiders. As for the Dragons, um, Jack Bird at fullback. I mean, clearly is in his position, but fully tried very hard at fullback. Jack Bird, he always has a go, no matter where he plays. Uh, Zach Lomax, I thought he was pretty good in his first game back. Ravalawa had a good game as well. Uh, Norman just, uh, just doesn't do enough, I reckon. Adam Clune was all right. Blake Laurie was good. Maguire had an okay game. McCulloch, no attack from dummy half, Andrew McCulloch. He's okay in defense, but he does nothing nothing in attack at all. I thought Tarek Sims had a good game. I thought Jack DeBellin was good as well. I thought the bench, I thought Amone did okay as well. Um, Kate Ellis and Jackson Ford weren't too bad as well. But it's just the, the Dragons, you know, they don't have, you know, Matt Hunt out there. And they really miss him tonight, so... That's a re that's one reason why the Dragons lost in their second half. It just wasn't good enough. I mean, Cameron's defense in the second half was was very good. But my top three players on ground for this game tonight between the Raiders and the Dragons, I'm going to go number three. Number three, I'm going to go with um, Thomas Stalling. I thought he was very good at the bench. Number two, I'm going to go with um, Joseph Tarpany. Number one, my man in the match, I'm going to go with Sam Williams. I thought his, his kicking game was very good, and he, he looked very controlled with the ball in his hands. So Sam Williams gets my man in the match, and the Raiders win over the Dragons. Now, the final game, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because it was a very, very bad game of footy. The Rabbitohs beating the Eels, 40 points to 12. Very boring game, man. I was, I was getting really sleepy watching this. It was a bloodbath from the get-go. and It all started off there in the 18th minute. It'll say Cody Walker, he attempted to go to the right-hand side. But he fooled everybody. He went back to the left. Gay guy to Mansell. Josh Mansell scores the first try of the game on that left-hand side. Um, Reynolds kicks the goal. South 6-0. 24th minute. Cody Walker to the trail. Cut out ball to Josh Mansell. Great try from the Bunnies. Fantastic 40 from Souths. Souths 12-0 after 24 minutes there. 38th minute. Souths go for a penalty goal and they kick it uh, through Adam Reynolds. At halftime, the Rabbitohs had 14 Points to nil, and Parramatta looked diabolical in that first half. Their confidence looked absolutely shot to pieces. They looked really, really awful out there, Parramatta. I know Mitchell Moses came back from a fractured back, but, you know, if you're going to play with an injury like that and you have no involvement whatsoever, then you should not play because it will affect you really badly. So that was not good from the Eels in that first half. They were very, very ordinary. Second half, though, Cody Walker grabbed a kick. Gagai picks up and scores for the Bunnies. Reynolds' goal. Saps 20-0. I'm pretty sure he broke the record there. Adam Reynolds broke the record. He's now the top point scorer at the South Sydney Rabbitohs. I think he's broken the all-time record now. So, congratulations to Adam Reynolds on that fantastic achievement. South lead 20-0. The game's looking like it's over. And then, Latrell Mitchell to Jackson Paulo. He scores. 
I think it was Reynolds went uh, with a pass and then they threw it around a bit south and then Latrell gave it to uh, Paula. He scored in the corner. South 26 nil. The game's all, all the truly over. At this point, 51st minute, Ken Murray, short ball with Keelan Colomitangi. Back to Cameron Murray. I love that try. Great play. Uh, South 32 nil. The game's, the game's well and truly over. And Parramatta decided to play, play, play a little bit of footy here. Uh, 56 minute. Eels go left hand side to Bryce Cartwright to Wagga Blake to Sevo. Sevo scores in the corner for the Eels. South 32 6. 63rd minute. Moses actually did something for once. He ran the goddamn ball. Ran the ball. A, a little grubber kick for Wagga Blake. Wagga Blake scores for the Eels. South 32 12. The game's still over. Parramatta got no hope coming back. And then in the 73rd minute, uh, Reynolds goes for a penalty goal. I still don't know why. South 34 12. And then a late try. In the 77th minute, Benji Marshall grab a kick off the scrum. Jackson Puller collects a double. And full time, the Rebels are beating the Eels 40 points to 12 at Seabus Super Stadium. Uh, Eels, Eels were diabolical, man. They were shocking. They had absolutely nothing. They were shot to pieces out there tonight. Some of the great players, though, for the Bunnies. I thought Latrell Mitchell had a great game at fullback. I was great. Josh Mansell was outstanding as well. Gagai, Gagai had a great game. Paulo was good on the wing. Walker was great. Reynolds was awesome as well. I thought uh, Damien Cook was all right. Burgess and Nichols did a good job. Colin Matungi and Arrow were good. Murray was outstanding in my opinion. The bench as well for South Sydney. Tavetta Totola had a great game. He, he, he had a great game of footy. And Jacob Host as well were very good. For the Eels, hard to say, man. Goverson did absolutely nothing. For the Eels, it was shocking. Uh, Wagga Blake was probably the Eels' best player tonight. He had a go with Wagga Blake and fully tried very hard for the Eels. Uh, Moses did fuck all. Dylan Brown did absolutely nothing. Obercheck, Obercheck might be the worst centre in the game. He had he played 80 minutes. He ran for fucking 49 metres. He did nothing, Obercheck. Absolutely nothing. It was god awful. Some of the Eels' falls were okay. You know, I thought... Nathan Brown had a fair go. Thought Bryce Cartwright was good off the bench for the Eels, Eels as well, and Sean Lane as well. But the Eels, they were just shit house, and the Bunnies were far too good. My top three players on ground for this game tonight, though, between the Eels and the Rabbitohs. Number three, I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Adam Reynolds for number three. Number two, I'm going to go with Josh Mansour. Thought he had a good game. And number one, my man, in the match. I'm going to go with Cameron Murray. I thought he played great tonight, great game tonight from Cameron Murray. He gets my man the match in the Rabbitohs win over the Eels. But guys, that's it for the Friday Night Football Review. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon for the Saturday Afternoon Football Review between the Sharks and the Warriors. Till then, see you then.